Hello. Today, we're going to continue our Unit 3 study of data analysis techniques. Today, we're going to be looking at quizzes. We start with going to the Google menu and opening up the forms. Let's create a new document, and we'll see it in the classic purple, not for long. Okay, so you can see that I've got a title here, a sample quiz on Google Slides, and I'm about to edit my first question. But before I even do that, let's go into settings. And the very first setting is make it a quiz. When you make it a quiz, you'll have the ability to assign point values, set answers, and automatically provide feedback. Some other options in settings, you may want to allow them to immediately see their results after they hit submit, or especially if you have a lot of written answers that you need to read and grade manually, uh, you might wanna give it to them later. The lock mode allows the student to only use uh, one tab while they're taking the quiz. And there are some other options here uh, that you can uh, play with and determine based on your goals for that test. One other area in quizzes to manage is under responses. And that's mostly if you want to allow them to take the quiz more than once or limit them to one response. There are some other interesting settings in presentation where you can have a progress bar that shows the person how far they are along in the quiz. You can shuffle the question order, which may have some value. And at the end, there's a confirmation message. If you want to give them directions after the quiz, you can edit it there. I go into questions and I start to write. All right, so my first question is very simple. Google Slides is used to present information. Is it true or false? I have it set up as a drop down uh, format. And now, because it's a quiz, you'll notice down here that there is an answer key. Think of the question as a card. And when I click answer key, I'm going to flip the card over and I'll see the answers. And here's where I would select the correct answer. I can also change my point value if I want, and I can add any feedback whether they get it right or wrong. So I'm going to click done on this one. You'll notice that the question is defaulted to required, which means they have to answer the question or it won't allow them to submit it. It's a good idea to make questions required in a quiz. Looking right next to the required option here are the three dot menu for this question. Uh, it gives me some options here of a description. Uh, I can redirect the uh, person taking the quiz to another section based on what answer they give. And that can be very interesting with a more uh, developed quiz. Or I can shuffle the option order so that every time every person sees it, it's in random order. For my second question, I've gone with the multiple choice format. I'll give them three different options. Time to flip it over and give the answer key. The answer for this one is Google Slides. I won't be giving feedback here, but remember, you have to click the done button here uh, to save your information on the correct answer and your point value. All right, we've got two questions here. Let's take a preview. I noticed that both of my questions are required. So when I go to the preview, I will see that each question has a little red asterisk after the question, meaning that it is required. And we notice something that I missed on here. Yes, I need to have the name in here. Knowing the person's name is super important, so you can give them credit for their work. I recommend using first name as a separate question and last name as a separate question. It allows you to sort your data alphabetically by first or last name. Keep those both required, and they are in short answer format. All right, I've done a little more work to my theme, and I've added first name and last name. I have a true-false question in a dropdown. I have one multiple choice. Everything's required. Time to take a preview. And actually, I'm going to take my quiz because if there's an error, that's the best way to find it. Okay, so in today's tasks, we have the 3.2 assignment creating a quiz in Google Forms. I do want to review the rubric briefly. It is graded on a 15 point scale, total value 50 points. First area that I'm looking at is quiz format. Are you able to add a link to the assignment that successfully takes me to the preview or I can take your quiz? That's worth two points. But if the link goes anywhere else, it is not proficient. Don't send me to your Google form, send me to the preview. 
Next point value is for question variety. I want to see different types of questions. Please don't give me three of the same kind. Content comes from your 2.5 team presentation of a university. At the proficient level, your questions reflect the content of your slideshow. So just take your questions right out of the slideshow. Finally are the answers. Your answers should be viewable after you submit your uh, quiz and the points that you earned have been shown. 